This is a story of IGSL. It is not just about people, nor about an organization, but about the living God who can do awesome deeds in and through us. Let's go back to 1981 when International School of Theology Asia or ISAT Asia was built on the vision of its founding organization, Campus Crusade for Christ International. On October 5, 1981, ISAT Asia officially opened in Baguio City, Philippines. On June 4, 1984, the school held its first graduation at Brent School, Baguio City, with 14 graduates. Dr. Bill Bright, the founder and president of Campus Crusade for Christ International, gave the first commencement address. 1989 was a turbulent year for Isot Asia. The school struggled to survive with lack of funds. A number of faculty decided to leave. Tom Rojas, Steve Hobson, and Cho Ju Nang were the only remaining faculty members. Three options were considered. Move the school to Singapore, move to Manila, or close it down. In June of 1990, in the desire to be more accessible for greater impact, ISOT Asia was moved to Sikatuna Village, Manila. Three weeks later, a magnitude of 7.7 .7 earthquake devastated Baguio City. After seven years at the Sikatuna Village location, the Lord graciously provided permanent facility near Mindanao Avenue in Quezon City. Dr. Andrew Lewson, who was chairman of the board in 1994, was used of the living God to spearhead the building of IGSL facilities. In April of 1996, the Lord graciously provided the money needed to purchase and build a permanent campus. In July 1997, the school relocated to the renovated mansion at 12 Daisy Road, Old Soyo, Novaliches, Quezon City. In order to protect the graduates coming from restricted countries, the name of the school was changed from International School of Theology Asia, or ISAT Asia, to the International Graduate School of Leadership, or IGSL, in 2006. The school remains deeply rooted in the Word of God, but the change in name has opened many opportunities for IGSL to influence other sectors of society. Starting in 2009, new partnerships were formed with government agencies. Memorandum of Agreement was signed with Armed Forces of the Philippines, Bureau of Jail Management and Penology, Philippine National Police, Philippine Marine Corps, Philippine Coast Guard, and Bureau of Fire Protection. At the same time, partnerships were made with some churches and denominations. In January 2013, the first Partners in Ministry extension was launched to encourage and empower pastor's wives who are beyond the reach of the resident school. We praise God for the growth through the years. Our vision is to see a growing network of Christ-like leaders building spiritual movements that are transforming lives, families, communities, and nations for the glory of God. So we depend on God as we do our mission to develop servant steward leaders for strategic impact in fulfilling the Great Commission. 
IGSL as a biblically and theologically grounded school that develops spirit-filled, strategic, servant-steward leaders to fulfill the Great Commission. This is our identity as a school. God continues to do amazing things in and through IGSL. This is our story, and this is God's story. <laughs>